Some football players have a secret. But let's start with Neymar's story, cause he almost made his entire family go homeless. And it all started in Sao Paulo, Brazil, where growing up, him and his family were so poor, they were one mistake away from losing everything. And even though Neymar was just a little kid with a football and a dream, it was completely up to him to save the day. One month, his dad forgot about the electricity bill, and on the last day to pay, he had to work. So dad had no choice but to trust this kid with the money. And even though Neymar was young, I'm sure he understood the importance of keeping lights on. So he was down to go pay the bill. But as Neymar was walking down the street, he saw something crazy. There was a raffle where he had a once in a lifetime opportunity to win his dream car. And there was no way he could pass that up. So he went in and bought a ticket. And later that night, he could barely sleep. All he could think about was cruising down the street in his new whip until the next morning. Cause as soon as he opened his eyes, he heard something. Could, could it be? Neymar jumped out his bed, ran out his room, and there was... Dad? Pissed. Cause the electric company pulled up in their car to shut the power off. Now, at least what Neymar did only got him an ass whooping. Zlatan's mistake almost got him assassinated. And it all went down in 2019 while he was playing with the Galaxy. Cause Zlatan was getting pretty confident. I think I'm the best I've ever played in MLS, and that without joking. Why? Did you, have you been looking for the two years I've been playing? And coming into his 38th birthday, he wanted to treat himself. So there was one gift at the top of his wish list. But see, when he copped this Ferrari Monza SP2, the car wasn't the problem. It's what he did with it. Behind the scenes, Slants had a notorious reputation for parking like a jackass. All over the lines, stealing people's spots. One day, he pulled up in his million dollar whip and parked in the middle of the street. But what he didn't know was he was being watched by a maniac. And this dude wasn't trying to ruin Zlatan's car. He was trying to end his life. Cause right when dude saw Zlatan breaking the law, he drove home as fast as he could to get a weapon. And I'm not gonna lie, this dude was on another level of crazy. Cause he literally went on a seven year killing spree without being caught. So luckily when he pulled back up, Zlatan was gone. And eventually, the police found out. Cause he publicly admitted he was only trying to smoke Zlatan just to get famous. So they threw his stupid ass in jail. Now, I don't know what's crazier, that or Emmanuel Adebior's life literally being saved by a football. Cause what happened back in 1988, no doctor could ever explain. Nowadays, you wouldn't think this star striker had major health concerns, but growing up in Togo was anything but easy. Cause right from birth, doctors noticed Emmanuel had a serious problem. They told his family that for some mysterious reason, Emmanuel's legs didn't work. But mom and dad didn't want to just give up on their baby. So for years, they searched for a cure throughout all of Africa, but they had no luck. And they were desperate, so they turned to their last resort, the church where they vowed to pray for Emmanuel for seven days. But if that didn't work, all hope was lost. So they prayed all seven days and all seven nights. And then on the very last day, still nothing. Uh, until a bunch of kids were outside kicking around a football. And as soon as Emmanuel noticed, he not only stood up, he ran after the ball and joined in the game. And 
from that point on, he eventually went on to become a pro football player. He became one of Africa's richest athletes ever. And to this day, no doctor, no church has a single explanation. But I don't know what's harder to believe. That or Kevin De Bruyne being a millionaire and still being scared to talk to girls. Cause back in 2013, one embarrassing moment changed his life forever. See, at the time, De Bruyne was just a rising star, so he only had a few thousand Twitter followers. But in between games, he'd still throw out a tweet, and there was always a notification that made his heart skip a beat. But one day while he was chilling with his friend, he tweeted about the night before his game, when BOOM, there was a notification from a baddie. So De Bruyne showed his friend the like, and his friend did what any good wingman would do. He told De Bruyne to message her, but uh, our boy was down bad, cause he'd never had a girl on this level, and thought there was no way she'd respond. And I don't blame him, cause if I looked like this, I wouldn't think she'd message me either. So his friend grabbed the phone and did him a favor, and luckily he did that, cause not only did she respond, De Bruyne and her started texting non-stop, and a few years of dating later, they got married and lived happily ever after, all from his friend's DM. But hey, at least De Bruyne ain't ruining the world, like Aaron Ramsey's curse, cause him just playing football literally kills people. This curse, it started haunting Ramsey back in 2009. And while playing for Arsenal, even though he'd rarely score a goal, little did he know, he was about to become a killer. Literally. Cause as the years went on, when Ramsey stepped his game up to another level, this meant more playing time and scoring more goals. But what he was secretly doing became a worldwide controversy. At first, what began unfolding seemed like a massive coincidence, until it wasn't. Cause the more goals Ramsey scored, the more people were dying. But I mean, come on, the only curse I ever heard of was the one that happens if you don't subscribe to our channel. So Ramsey's can't be real, right? Well, fast forward to 2021, after scoring 64 career goals, 23 of them had a direct link to celebrities dying. Whether it's the same day, the day after, or the week of, for 15 years, Ramsey's body bags keep piling up. And the list just keeps getting crazier. So every time he scores, it becomes a trending topic. And things are getting so ridiculous. Fans literally started a petition for Ramsey to quit football. But whether you believe in the curse or not, at least his story's out there. For Ronaldo, he's not only kept a dirty little secret, he spent his entire life covering it up. And back in 2013, while he was playing for Real Madrid, things started getting a little sus. Cause at the time, he started setting records and becoming one of football's greatest players ever, so he felt unstoppable. But when you turn yourself into a face of the biggest sport in the world, it comes with a price. His celebrity status reached a level that not even a Kardashian could touch. So that meant paparazzi watching his every move. And they caught Ronaldo in 4K. At the time, he was in a celebrity relationship. And uh, I'm sure Ronaldo was attracted to her personality. But anyways, even though these two were becoming icons, they were barely spotted in public together. And we all know Ronaldo, man. If something ain't taking his Instagram clout to another level, is it really worth doing? <laughs> so later that year, he decided to do something that no other athlete, not even LeBron James, had the balls to do. He was literally spotted at a Rihanna concert. And uh, I don't think he showed up cause she's in his workout playlist. So at first I thought he was probably there cause he wanted Rihanna to play with his balls. But that's when the rumors spread everywhere. Cause once pics of these two together started going viral, of course some sweaty degenerate with a camera and mic was gonna bring it up. 
and the first chance he got to ask Rihanna about our boy. I don't think she was just trying to play hard to get, cause she literally dropped a bomb. And instead of talking about Ronaldo's late night booty call or keeping it classy and talking about a dinner date, when she was asked if the two were in a relationship, she said this. <sighs> this explains so much, Ronaldo. And right when this news broke, Ronaldo wanted to have a little fun and troll the world, so he posted a pic with his friend and captioned it, just married. But at the end of the day, Ronaldo's not the only player with a secret untold story. Just click this video right here!